Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Jumping straight into the video, I'm going to take this Revlon Primed and Ready Pore and Mattifying Face Primer. This was my first time trying it and I have been really liking it the past few times that I've used it. It mattifies and pore minimizes without making me feel overly dry. And then I'm going to take some concealer and just prime my eyelids. Next, I will be taking the Benefit Hoola Bronzer in a Sephora Pro Crease Number 10 brush. And I'm going to be using this as my eyeshadow today, just blending this all over my lid and in my crease. I did my eyeliner off camera. I just did a strip. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Jumping into foundation, I'm going to use the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop in the shade Classic Tan. And I'm going to put a few 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 pumps on my face and i'm going to just take a flat foundation brush just to begin blending it on my face and then i'm going to take another blending brush and further blend it out This foundation is super full coverage and very matte, so if you have dry skin, I would not recommend it, but if you have oily skin like me, you are literally going to love it. No oils peek through when I wore this combo of that primer and that foundation. It has been my go-to right now. It's so good. I decided that I wanted a little bit more coverage on my cheek area and my forehead, so I'm just going to put a couple more pumps on my face and then just take that blending brush and make sure that I push the product into my skin. That's going to give me fuller coverage and a more flawless finish. I'm going to be taking two concealers, the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer in the shade Beige and the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer in the shade Medium Sand. First taking the NYX one and then I'm going to take the e.l.f. one right on top. The e.l.f. one is a little bit lighter and this combo is actually a really good combo I've been enjoying lately. We all know I love my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, but this one has kind of made its way up there. It gives me a flawless full coverage under eye without being overly drying and it also gives me a nice brightening effect so I definitely love those. I took a Morphe G2 brush at first and now I'm going to take my sponge. This is the AOA Studio Paw Paw sponge, my favorite sponge ever. I rave about them because they are so good and I'm just going to make sure that everything is blended out flawlessly. I'm now going to be taking the Airspun Translucent Extra Coverage Powder, one of my favorite loose powders, and I'm going to use this to press this into my skin. I haven't really been liking baking at the moment as it is winter time. My skin is a little bit drier even though it still gets oily, so I'm going to use this powder to press this into my skin. This powder is so beautiful. It gives you a nice flawless finish, and it just makes my skin look airbrushed. I'm now going to be taking the Black Radiance pressed powder in the shade Honey Glow and using this to set the rest of my face. Taking my favorite bronzer, the Fenty Beauty Sunstalker Bronzer in Caramel Cutie. I'm going to use this to bronze up my face. I absolutely love this bronzer. It's so warm and just like caramelly toned. I can't even describe it, but this bronzer is incredible. This one and Benefit Hula Caramel are my top bronzers and I just love this. Going back in with Hula Caramel, oh, not Hula Caramel, regular Hula. I'm going to use this to contour my nose as this is a little bit more neutral than the Fenty Beauty one. And then I'm going to take the Jouer Rose Cut Blush Palette, I think that's what it's called, and those two shades. And I'm going to use those to blush up my cheeks. I took a little bit of the airspun powder again and just reverse contoured um, my nose contour and underneath my cheeks. I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Matte Finish 
setting spray to set my face and then taking these Ardell lashes and I believe they're like $7.78 I think these were a new pair of lashes that I wanted to try and they look just like Demi Wispies but a little bit fuller I'm taking some mascara this one is from Thrive and putting a coat on my lashes I also tight lined and then going back in with Benefit Tula bronzer I'm going to use that and smudge that underneath my lower lash line and then I'm going to need be taking the Desi Dose of Colors and Katie Collab um, Highlighter in Fuego. It's such a pretty highlighter. I haven't used it in a while, so I decided to use it today and just gave me such a beautiful glow on my cheeks. I put it also on the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, chin, and forehead everywhere I highlight. Now I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite lip combo I've been loving at the moment. I'm just going to take this brown eyeliner from Shop Miss A. Any brown pencil lip liner or eyeliner would work for this. In the center of my lips, I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Lipstick in the shade Nudie Patootie. And then I'm going to take AOA Studio Lipstick in Coconut right on top of that. And then on top of that, I'm going to just take some clear lip gloss. And then I'm going to go back in and highlight my inner corners with the same highlighter used on my face. And that is it for this Get Ready With Me. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below and subscribe if you're not. And I will catch you all on my next video. Bye.